Hey, my earth signs. Welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys. I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your overall advice, career, and finance reading. Y'all, please just take whatever fits your situation. And we'll keep it moving. <laughs> okay, my earth signs. Let's see what's going on with you all. Let's pull some overall advice cards first. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for my earth signs, please? I have page of air, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. Okay. Queen of fire, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Okay. One more, please. Night of water, falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event, okay? Bottom of the deck, ace of air, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning, okay? So, guys, all right, so what I'm seeing here, I feel like you guys found out something or if not, you're getting ready to find out some type of information coming in. And it's like whatever you were working on, whether it's um, something related to your career or something, um, per, I feel like, pertaining to love, there's been a change of plans. There's some type of delay. So something that was supposed to take happen at a certain time, now then got pushed back. You know, I, I just heard free will. So somebody did something or they made some type of decision. Now the timeline just got pushed back a little bit. So now it's like you're trying to figure out, okay, what do I need to do? So with Queen of Fire, they're saying, okay, you know, even though things didn't work out, when you wanted them to work out, it's time for you to stretch your wings and fly. So when I got this car, I heard career. So there, I'm telling you, so right now, something didn't pan out, whether in your love life or something pertaining to career, but there is some other focus that they want you to put put your um, energy back into to get something off the ground. It's time to it's time to get moving, right? And they're saying, you know, some of you guys, I feel like you're hesitating because you're saying, okay, is it the right time for me to put this out? Is it the right time for me to, you know, say this or do that or publish this? Or it's something like that that, you know, you guys are working on, you know, and whatever it is, they're saying don't underestimate yourself. It's your time to shine. Get moving because you're creative. Something's getting ready to take off um, for a lot of you guys. Now, with Night of Water, see what I'm saying? It goes back to love. It says falling in love or wedding proposals. So, remember, for some of you guys, maybe with somebody in the past, you're like, you know what? This person's moving too slow or they made the wrong decision. I'm done. You're focusing on yourself. It could be somebody brand new coming in that Spirit is saying you're going to end up falling in love with. Or this could be the same person coming back in eventually or coming back around and they're going to propose to you or like you two can start over, you know, be in a commitment, then move forward to engagement. But whatever's going on, it's like you got to focus on you right now first. So even again, goes back to something just said, grab this other car behind it. Okay, so let me tell you. Okay, so as I was saying with Ace of Air, it's like there's a new idea that you have. I'm really feeling like this is career. There's something that... It's like something is coming to you, right? And that goes back to creativity. There's something that you are supposed to be putting out there and you've been holding back. You've been hesitating to do it. And it's like, okay, you're having that challenging beginning because it's like, okay, I know I'm going to put this out, but when it comes to my love life, it sucks because I thought I was supposed to be doing this or being with this person. That's the challenging beginning. But guess what? I told you, they want you to focus on your money because with six of earth and my angels told me to grab it, it says gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. I told you, you are supposed to be focusing on your career right now, my earth signs, not love. Love is going to come in. That's why I think this is here. They're, they're wanting you to see the reassurance. It's coming for you, whether it's somebody brand new or somebody from your past, but whatever's going on, not right now. You got to focus on career. So let's see. With all of that being said, let's jump to career. Let's see what's going on. All right. So, Spirit, when it comes to my earth sign, what messages do you have for them about their career? Messages for my earth sign, please. Okay, let's see.
bottom of the deck. Look at that. There's the four of swords. So that's letting me know you guys are worried, but it's like you're not taking action. I told y'all there is something you're supposed to be doing career-wise. You're not doing it. Yeah, see? Okay, there's the King of Pentacles. So you guys are definitely focusing on your, your money. I feel like you're working on something. I just heard project. So maybe somebody's working on a project. Tell me more. Maybe some of you guys are working on leaving a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you guys are... <laughs> Some of you guys could be kind of focusing on your money. Maybe this is you trying to stack your money, save because you're you're making plans to, you know, go and do your own thing. But yeah, I see a lot of you guys leaving a job, you know, getting out of some type of contract. You look at that. I told you, you're focusing on money. You're definitely focusing on your money. Some of you guys could be applying for other positions. Tell me more. But you feel like things are moving slow. You know, nothing is coming back for you because it's like you want out, but you're like, okay, I need to have, you know, plan... My, my things need to be in order. So if plan A doesn't work, I got plan B, C, D, all of that, okay? Look at that. It's like you're ready to move on and you are you don't want to look back. Hey, I mean, y'all, you guys, ugh, this is looking good, okay? I'm telling you, you have an offer coming in of money, but it's like you guys aren't taking a leap. Why? What's going on? You're back and forth with the Ace of Wands because you don't know if this opportunity is going to basically bring in new ideas, a new beginning, you know, remember I told you with the other day, it's like, you guys are hesitating. You don't know if what you're going to do is basically going to pan out the way you hope, but I feel like it is. See that that's why y'all are worried. This is why you're not taking the action. That's why y'all are moving slow. Tell me more. Yeah. See the seeds that you planted It's the way that came out. It's like you want it to grow, but at the end of the day, you feel like it's not spirit is saying you need to have confidence in yourself. You, you got to have that confidence, but you're scared. You're scared. Come on guys. Y'all, I see something really big that's supposed to happen for a lot of you guys. Look at that. See, I told you, you're going to have a victory, but you got to make the move. Okay. Why is the King of Cups here? Mm hmm I knew that wasn't your energy. So this is the thing. Mm -hmm. Then there's the eight of, yep, okay. There's somebody around you, and you could work with this person. Maybe this is a business partner for some of you guys, friend, family. I mean, it could go so many different ways, but I'm going to be honest. I feel like there's somebody around you that's trying to basically keep you in this stuck energy. Whether or not, like, this is somebody you're going to for advice, I feel like they're they're trying to purposely stop something from coming in for you. You need to be very careful because Spirit is saying, keep focusing on you. Keep focusing on your money. Keep keep applying. I'm telling you, there's somebody around. See, there's another king. I'm telling you, it's like there is somebody that they don't want you to keep it moving forward. You might have more than one person because it's like you're in you're trapped in the middle of two people. So even though I'm seeing a woman and two men, it could be the other way. It could be one man, two women. There's somebody or and or others trying to stop you. You know, see? And yeah, I they stabbed you in the back, guys. I'm telling you, there's somebody and or others here that stabbed you in the back, but you're healing. Yep, you're making decisions, or you will be making a decision. Oh, but then you're in your head. Okay, and I just heard Virgo. So, Virgos, if you're watching this, maybe this is you going through this. Um, or maybe for others of you, this could be a Virgo doing it to you. But regardless, I just heard Virgo, so I'm just telling y'all, but it could go for anybody. Either which way, it's like I see one minute you're making a decision, but the next minute you're back and forth with making a decision, you know, and Spirit is saying you're not listening to your intuition because you feel like things will not improve. Let me keep going. Give me a couple more cards, please. Yeah, see? Look at that. Two of Cups landed on the Two of Swords. See, 11-11. You guys have got to listen to your intuition. Your angels are trying to help you because I see that there's a commitment coming in for you career-wise, but you're worried. You know, it's like you guys are in in your head a lot and you're not moving forward there's a lesson here that i feel like some of you guys are still going through yeah and because of that it's like maybe you could have taken a financial loss or you feel like if i remove myself from this situation i'm gonna take a loss so just an example let's just say if this is definitely pertaining to your current job and you have people around you that are you you know you got to get away from so you're saying okay i don't want to work here anymore i have been looking for other jobs but i just can't up and leave this job i got bills 
If I leave, I'm going to take a hit or it could be saying, okay, there's something else coming in for me or I want to start and do my own business. But the money that I've been consistently getting every week, every two weeks, what have you, I'm not going to be getting that. I'm going to take a loss because that consistent paycheck is, I, I'm scared. You know, I'm definitely getting that scared energy here. Let me see. Yeah. But spirit is saying it's time to make a change. So I see you making a decision. Okay. And you're realizing there's no balance. Yep. And you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna cut this job off. You are definitely, I'm telling y'all will eventually go. If you haven't already, you will. But you keep thinking about the past, but spirit is saying stop because I see that you're gonna be celebrating. You're gonna be celebrating earth signs. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, slow energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at your finances. Okay, Spirit, what's going on with my earth sign when it comes to their finances? Bottom of the deck. That is interesting. Okay, I see the Eight of Wands reverse. So I'm going to tell you why I said that's interesting. Because when I was shuffling, I kept seeing the Ace of Swords. Um, the image of the Ace of Swords, but it was reversed. So that's letting me know you guys need to stop telling people your moves. I feel like you might have one, two people around you. And just like I saw in the career spread, you have somebody that's trying to stop what you're you're uh, going to be doing. Keep your business to yourself. And the fact that the Eight of Wands is here, that's slow communication. Stop telling people, you know. And I did not just say this about a week or two ago. I put up a thread about that. Keep your business to yourself. Okay, Earth Signs, I'm, I'm telling you. Let me see what's going on. You're back and forth with the King of Pentacles. Y'all, this is you. You are back and forth when it comes to your finances because I see that you guys are definitely focusing on money. You're focusing on, you know, trying to make more money. Maybe some of you guys are throwing yourself into career, doing overtime, but it's like you guys are having a hard time, financially speaking. Why? Okay, there's the two of pentacles. They're saying you got to make a decision. Okay. I'm hearing for some of you, there is somebody and or other people around you that's sneaky. But for others of you, this could be you trying to sneak away from something. So maybe you guys have been helping someone and you're like, okay, how do I stop? Let's see. Yeah, there is somebody around you that is immature. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time for you guys to move on. There's the queen. Okay, this isn't for everybody, but I'm hearing somebody's been um it's some type of mother and, and I keep hearing mother, mother, mother. Okay. <laughs> y'all give me a second because it's like they're they're telling me bits and pieces i'm gonna give you an example of kind of what i'm hearing so what they're saying for some of you guys i feel like you guys are doing very well financially speaking right the issue is you have it's like your mom or there is like this energy of someone that is a mother around you, whether you have a child with this person, this is a family member, they have kids, it's some type of mother energy, but whatever's going on, it's like you guys, some of you guys have been feeling responsible for taking care of this person, giving money to them, or you will have to, you know, and, but I'm getting this energy where whoever this mother energy is to you, they're sneaky. And you know they're sneaky. You know they're very immature. They're childish or whatever. You're trying to get away from them because you feel like they're draining you financially or they will be draining you financially. And then, I didn't even see that. The fact that the Four of Wands are here, there's 11-11, but in the, the day, this talks about um, a family situation or you living with someone. There's something going on. It's like you're trying to, I feel like some of you guys are trying to break free. See, look at that, another four. I'm telling you, y'all, it has something to do with Family, like, you know, your immediate family members, you know, the family that you have with someone else, there's something going on because I feel like with this card, I'm telling you, it's like you have to keep giving to this person. You see all those cups? 
you're the one coming through financially helping someone out. And maybe for some of you, you're feeling like this person keeps saying, nope, nope, I want more. Whatever you're giving, it's not good enough. It's like every time you give them a cup, they come back asking for more. And that's the problem. So even, even with that being said, I feel like it's going to get to the point where it's like, Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that they're gonna, the tables are going to turn. They're, it's like now they're coming to you. Hey, uh, he, he or she, you know, son, daughter, whatever it is. Can you give me some more money? And you're like, no, no, I'm not doing it. No, no. You guys are going to have to stand your ground. Yeah, see. <laughs> Didn't I just, I told y'all this wasn't you. I told you, here you are. You're saying, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not giving anything else to you. I'm not putting any more time or energy into you. I am focusing on my money. I'm focusing on making sure my stability is straight, making sure my family is good, making sure my bills can be paid. Because see, by me helping you, giving to you, you have betrayed my trust. You're sneaky, you know, and you keep putting me in situations. And it's, I'm even hearing you can't really blame them because you guys keep giving it to them. So, wow, put an end to it. Put an end to it. Put an end to it. Because you're saying to yourself, things aren't turning around. They're not working out in your favor because you have somebody that they're, they're definitely taking advantage of you. See, but you feel you're frustrated. You're frustrated because this person is sneaky. So remember I told you guys in the beginning, it's like, yes, there's somebody here that's sneaky, but I was picking up for others of you. You're trying to figure out how to sneak away, how to get out of the situation, especially if it's family, because family they'll, you know, try to make you feel bad. And then it's like, they'll guilt you into helping them out. And y'all are like, nope, not anymore. I'm done. I'm tired. See, look at that. You're healing. This person and or people definitely stabbed you in the back. So now you're getting justice. You want justice, but you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Tell me more. But they're saying you're not taking a leap. Look at that. I told y'all it's big mother energy here. There is either your mom or it's some type of mother figure around you. But regardless, it's like you're not positive yep, about giving to this person anymore. But I'm telling you, when you cut them off, when you start saying no, your blessing is coming in. There's something huge coming in for you, my earth signs. Didn't I tell you, but you got to put an end. And it jumped over here to this person. I've been telling you about you got to put an end to them. You have to. This is you going through your transformation. You're going through an awakening because you're seeing come on spirit and finish my sentences you're saying that it's time for you <laughs> it's time to move in a new direction okay you definitely have a new beginning coming in but you, you gotta put an end to this this situation yep i see that you're making that final decision you're not putting any more energy into someone yep you're moving fast you're healing you're focusing on yourself and guess what now i see you having balance with your money because guess what you let this person and or other people go okay you let them go but it's like right now even though you don't have a peace of mind with your money hang in there my earth signs because i'm telling you you have some good things coming in but you got to get away from like i said I kept, it's big mother energy here so it's your mom or some type of mother figure maybe it's a friend that has kids maybe you you want to help them out whatever's going on get away from this person you're going to have to let them go. It's time, okay? So, my earth signs, please leave me some comments. Let me know if this resonates, and we're going to check back in next month, okay? I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.